Hello Cancer, this is your reading from June the 1st to June the 15th, 2020. Uh, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are first time viewers, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Um, I have reached 1,000 and a bit more of uh, subscribers. I did not expect that. Uh, I was not even originally thinking of ever coming to YouTube, but um, it's a better way of me reaching out there and just uh, helping people as much as I can. So thank you guys very, very much for your love and support. It's uh, so much appreciated. It really validates what I do. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay, guys, so I'm going to be doing a love reading, and the love reading will basically show you guys what it is that the other person is feeling for you, what their emotions are like, what they're thinking. But it's not going to show you, um, like they're not going to say this to you. This is just stuff that's in their mind. And I know um, in the last reading, um, some of you had concerns um, about me either talking on behalf of the person, apologizing on behalf of the person, I am not apologizing on behalf of the person. Um, I am just giving you a message. That person is another human being and they have to talk to you face to face, physically or on the phone. That's not me guys. So please don't think that I'm apologizing on behalf of this person. Um, I am just the messenger. Let's not shoot the messenger. So, okay guys. Yikes, it's starting to look grim already. Okay, let me start here. My dear Cancer, when I think of you, all I can think of is abundance, happiness, so much stuff that I've learned from you, so many things that I didn't see before. I see them now clearly. And what happened between us is starting to cause me to be so overwhelmed. I can't get it off my mind. It's, I know I've made you feel uncomfortable, Cancer, and it's making me very, very much overwhelmed because I don't know how to handle the situation. I think of you when I think of home. You are a nice cozy warm blanket. You are a cozy little light when it's dark. You are that person that I call home. I feel this now. In my mind, Cancer, things are going around in circles, 100 miles a minute. The situation between us is going around in my mind over and over and over again, and it's causing me to panic. It's causing me to have fear and anxiety. You make me nervous. What I want is to grow with you. I want to create like a web, something that will last for generations, something that will be so beautiful, so strong. I want to create with you. And there's things about you that are so tempting. You have such power over me. I can't think straight. My mind starts to get into blank and I get distracted when I'm in your company or when I'm thinking about you. And in this situation, which is very deep, all I want to do is have fun with you. I actually want to be that person that can make you happy that can give you happiness, make you smile, make you laugh, joke around with you. I want to be that person. I find that you are so much like that. I have so much fun when I'm with you. I find that you're funny. You do make me laugh. But the situation right now, I'm just so nervous because of what's happened. And it's overwhelming for me. And I really don't want to talk right now because I'm in hermit mode. I need to be left alone and heal and think things through. I need to think about the situation. 
because I myself am trying to heal. This entire situation is making me very anxious. I have anxiety and I'm afraid of losing what I hold most dear. Because you are my hearth and home. Wow, Cancer. Mm, that was kind of like I was almost draining. It's beautiful. Um, this person really does. They, they value you and they see who and what you are. But now they're taking a step back because they're really, they know they've messed up. They know they messed up and now they're overwhelmed. And they don't know what next steps to take, but they are basically just trying to heal. They're, they're overwhelmed themselves, like, oh God, what did I do? What did I do? And now they're trying to understand what it is that they themselves did and trying to heal from it, trying to think, what can I do? What next steps can I take? How can I fix the situation? So the next deck is similar to the Rider Waite deck. It is the Beginner's Tarot deck. Um, I am going to look into the actions of this person if they are going to take any actions towards you. Um, I notice now like there's an if. Sometimes it's, there's no action at all. So let me just check here. Um, that's two. Okay guys. So Cancer, the chariot card. So it does seem that this person really does want to come back to you and they want to come back fast because they are they are afraid that they're losing you. The Fool card, they do feel that they want to take a leap of faith with you. They want to come back to you, into your heart, into your arms. However, they also feel that, they also feel that they have been foolish in this entire situation, that they have not made the right choices and the right decisions. Wow. Um, Knight of Swords, action cards. Cancers, I'm going to be frank. They are shit scared. They do not want to lose you. They are so scared. Um, wow, Justice card. They want to commit and they want to make things right with you. They know they did you wrong. Ten of Swords, they want to get over the situation. They, they're done. They're just done. Beautiful. Two of Cups, they want to make amends. They want to reconcile with you. And all they can do right now is know that out of all the options they have in their life, they've chosen you. And they are day daydreaming. But the most beautiful card is right here. The Two of Cups. They feel some type of soul tie connection with you. They feel that you are the one that makes them feel at home and so comfortable, so loved. They want to reconcile and say sorry to you. They want to make things right. They want to make things right, like the Justice card. Guys, I can probably definitely say this person is going to and be ready for it. This person's going to message you guys. There's way too many action cards here. Chariot is like zooming. You got the King of Swords zooming. Uh, not the King, but the Knight. You got the Fool walking. I mean, goodness me. These, these guys right here. And then you have this. Justice. I'm going to make things right. This. Ten of Swords. I'm done with the situation. And the Two of Cups. This is the intention of the person that you're dealing with. They want to be in a romantic relationship with you guys. And they are so afraid. That fear, the fear card that we had before, that fear is so real. They are so afraid that they are going to lose something so beautiful. Wow. Cancers, it's almost as if you guys have got these people on the hook. <laughs> really? Really? So guys, um, I'm going to use Join Virtue 
angel therapy cards. I'm just going to pull out two to see if we can get any um, guidance just to help you guys along with the situation. Ah, I said a soul tie connection. Well, it says here past life issue. The situation has, this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. Wow, guys. So, similar to what I had said before, it does seem as if this person may have some type of a connection with you. And the reason why, this is definitely divinely guided, guys. Um, Archangel Michael. The reason why this situation that you're having, Cancer, is so intense emotionally it is because this was supposed to happen even if it hurts in this lifetime this was supposed to happen because it was it happened in a previous lifetime with you guys there is a lesson that has to be learned somebody has to be enlightened and evolve in the situation so until that happens this will repeat time and time again over years to come because of the concept of reincarnation Archangel Michael you are working very closely with this powerful Archangel who is protecting and guiding you through this situation so cancer do understand you're not alone okay um, because this is definitely a very special reading it's very divinely guided um, you guys need to understand you're not alone and the reason why this is happening um, you have powerful beings on your side, okay? Um, it may really hurt, it may be very confusing, but let time take things through and let's see, let's see what happens because eventually you, you will come out stronger. You will learn your lesson. Lord knows if the other person will. However, they do feel regret, like they, they feel bad about what's happened. They're just in shock. They're trying to heal. So, under the bottom of the deck is singing and dancing. Express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. So, guys, I know um, I said this in one of the readings previously, but singing and dancing, yes, it's fun. All of us have done that. Um, we're on our own sometimes. We put music on and we start dancing. Even if we're by ourselves, it's always fun. Um... But yeah, do that because it's a way of releasing negative energies and you bring in positive energy and then you're just a stronger person altogether. So Cancer, I hope um, it was a very, oh wow, it was a draining and heavy reading. I hope you guys did enjoy the reading. I hope some of you did resonate. If you did, um, definitely share your comments below. I'd like to read them. Um, please do like, share, and subscribe. And uh, thank you for all your support. I also have added, it's still under construction, but I have added my website um, that also has um, more details about the type of readings I do, the type of things I do. And uh, it also has rates and packages if you guys do need any personal readings. Um, just shoot me an email and then I'll get back to you guys. So until then, guys, I will see you in mid-June. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.